So, that appears to be working. But, uh, okay. So, this is 8-Bit Boy. I've actually played this bef uh, before. Uh, just like the previous 8-Bit inspired platformer, I'm also ba bad at this game. I'm just gonna go to normal. It's like, why me? I just can't do it. Oh, we got some text. I think I skipped the lore when I last played this game. Life was not what he had expected. He wasn't disappointed with life per se, but he certainly was disappointed in himself. When was the last time he was truly happy? When was the last time he woke up in the morning and thought to himself, this is gonna be a good day? Finally, passing his exams one year ago just to be faced with unemployment didn't help either. This was not what he had expected at all. At the age of 32, he felt that he had accomplished very little. Half-finished education, courses, and the odd jobs in between weren't something to be proud of, he thought. It certainly wasn't how he had imagined life would be when he was a kid 20 years ago. It all seemed so long ago, like in another lifetime. Dude, man, that's deep. That's real with a lot of people, too. <laughs> he tried to remember how life was back then, back when he used to play games all day long on his trusty console. He got it for his 10th birthday, and oh what a joy it was. He simply loved that thing and dreamed about growing up and making games himself one day. It all seems so silly now knowing you have to grow up and take responsibility. He wondered if he still had that, had it in, his, in the basement. Would it even work after all these years? He felt an urge to go look in the basement right away. He almost felt excited about finding it and couldn't even remember the last time he felt that way about anything. He went down into the dark basement. The air was cold, thick, and moist. I know a lot of people don't like my word. It made him a bit nausea and lightheaded. He looked through what seemed like an endless number of moving boxes, crates, and bags. But, finally, he found what he was looking for in the far and darkest corner of the room. The old 8-bit console. So many good memories. Just thinking about filled... Just thinking about filled... Just... Wait. Just thinking about filled him... Oh. Filled him with bittersweet nostalgia. He looked through some of the old games. Both of them were a little fuzzy around the label. and Some even had mold on them. Suddenly, he was struck with fear looking at the last game cartridges in the pile. It seemed completely new and shiny. It even had that harsh chemical smell to it that new plastic usually has. No dents or scratches like all the other games, but what filled him with fear was the empty label on top of the cartridge. It had the print and pattern of the other cartridges, but it was missing the title as if it was just wanting, waiting on someone to fill it in. He couldn't explain why he filled with pure eeriness. It just did. A tiny and very subtle voice inside him whispered a chanting, Play it. Play it. So who are you? I don't know. Over and over again, just like an echo from beyond. Like he had no say in, in this, he started rigging up the console to his old color TV to try to, to try the uncanny cartridge. Somehow, this was what he had to do. Somehow, this was his fate. And or destiny. I wish I could find a CRTV. After setting up the console on an old dusty office desk, down in the basement, he plugged in the strange looking cartridge. The cartridge didn't need the usual push to go all the way down into the slot. It felt more like it was pulled right in, like two magnets just before touching each other. Uh, pr speaking of that, uh, going back to it, man, I can never imagine my games being moldy. I just, that would be heartbreaking. Just before flipping the wall switch, he hesitated just long enough to realize that was a very bad idea. A very bad idea then. Then he flipped the switch. Is that screen going to turn on? Ooh. Yeah, this is all... This part of the game, this is new to me. Whoa! Oh no, I'm a kid again. Ah, me. Whoa. Tip. 
That's a that's a nice little floppy disk. It just nothing. He he's he's totally cool with this. I think the controls are just really the basic same thing. I think this, uh, in terms of, uh, the actual control of the character, I think this feels better. But the same premise, you know, jump, X, is, or the, uh, and then the other buttons for running. This one you can actually have control for this. Pretty cool music. Actually, playing with this controller. World 5. Okay, so 5 worlds. Unless there's like, you know, a final level that's just not revealed. Yeah, I can jump on things still. Yeah, this one definitely feels a lot better compared to the last uh, old school platformer inspired game. It just controls better. It just it just feels better. Like there was a little bit more polish to this one. And I'm actually doing a lot better than what I remember playing this game. Cause I didn't get too far in this game. Last time I tried playing it out. Playing it out. I'm sure that makes sense to somebody. The music sound... Uh, this kind of music, I, I... I like this one compared to the last one, too. And not to say that the last game was awful. I think the last game just needed more polish. Crap. Oh, you, yeah, you can't swim in this one, though. And I lost all my powers. Come on, Plabbit. That's a uh, bed of spikes. This one also has a time, li uh, time limit. But this one seems to be more lenient, though. I know there's probably secrets and whatnot, but um, just running through the levels.
Really? Hey, kitty cat. Maybe this is where I stopped at. There we go. Holy cow. That took way longer than it needed to. Oh, come on. Uh, I feel like I should not be having this much trouble. Like, really? Is it me? Am I just jumping incorrectly? Oh. Well, I'm just a dummy, aren't I? Unless the game was just having mercy on me. Well, okay, so that stuff like that can happen. The enemies, they're pretty, uh, pretty, you know, rats. Okay, so I can't jump on those. Alright, so the game is gonna be kind of tricky now. They say, oh no, you thought this was something else, didn't you? Yeah, I think this is going to have some uh, tricky stuff to this game. But no, really, I thought you could jump on those. <laughs> that was kind of adorable. You can barely see that. Really? Game over? Wow. Uh, reload game? Yes. Should... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this game's gonna be a little, uh, a little silly. Inspiration. Dang it. Oh, beat the level. I know there was a secret down there, but that's okay. So, if this is like Mario, the next level should be the boss. Or a boss, I should say. Possibly. I just like how he's going through this. He's like, nah, nah, I'm alright. No, this is normal. Don't have anything to say. Did you see that angel in the beginning there? I wonder what that was about. 
game over. Good thing I picked normal mode. These aren't thwomps. Maybe it's five per world in? Level bonus. Please wait. As we say to your floppy. Oh, so world one, five? Okay. Interesting. So there's two world one fives? Game over. Uh, really? Watch out for those birds. And not, you know, running into them doesn't help either. Alrighty. So it doesn't reset my lives. Basically, whatever I have before the checkpoint is what I got. Should have known that was gonna happen, but I didn't anyway. Let's see if I need to turn the audio on this just a tad bit. That might be all right. <sighs> that didn't last long. All right, um, give it one shot. And then I think we'll move on to the next game. But I, de I would def I definitely... There's a reason why I actually played this before... Alright. I know I said one more shot, but that didn't count. But, um... Uh, no, there's there's a reason why I played this a little bit before... Uh... You know... It just on my free time, it just... Alright. That also did not count. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, nah, there's... 
I played this. There's a reason why I played this uh, in my free time beforehand. Because it's not bad. Um, I may come back to this one. Oops. Let's see if we can get through this particular world first. I think that's what it'll do. We'll try, you know what? I'll play until I can try to complete this first world. Okay. This definitely looks like a boss castle. Maybe. But no, really. Was there two one fives? It's kind of weird. Alright. Yeah, we'll try to get through this first world. I'll do I'll try to do that. Oh we got bats now. New enemy type. too hard but like, like I said I, I know there's plenty of secrets hidden around everywhere but I'm I'm just gonna focus on trying to get uh, just complete the levels for now I'm gonna try to complete this first world. Maybe it's eight per world? That would make sense. At this point. Misjudge my jump there. Ah. Okay, there we go. That word was gunning for me, man. Ah, uh, I didn't do a running start. All right. See, really, the birds are out for you because of your hat. They want, they just want that hat. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me.
I can appreciate that power up. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm all right. Okay. Maybe I gotta go this way then. Little odd level design going on here. Oh no. See, hello, hello. I okay. I appreciate that, but I am all right about not having art. And designs, your wait. I am about to do designs and arts for your stream. I, I'm all right. Pretty sure that's a that's a bot. Bound to happen though. Rats. up here last time. Oh, this is some type platforming. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Gonna get this one more shot, and then we'll call it for this game. Okay. One more that counts.
Can I use that power up at any time? Or do I have to wait on it? Well, that was 8-Bit Boy. Um, might come back to this one. Not too, too sure on this one yet. 